The first thing you're going to need are these mailing labels. I picked these up at the dollar store, but you, if you can't find them at your dollar store, you can always find them at Staples or an office supply store. Now you actually don't want the labels, you want the paper underneath. So I'm going to take all of the labels off. Now this project has to be done on a laser jet printer. It will not work on an ink jet printer. Okay, so now we have all the labels off and it's the shiny side that you want to print on. Now I find it's a little bit flimsy to put through my printer so I always stick it on a piece of computer paper. I just use my sticky tape and I put some on each corner of the paper and then stick my label paper shiny side up on the computer paper. Make sure you get it onto the computer paper nice and straight and rub out all the bubbles and all the wrinkles. You want it nice and flat. Now, if you don't have a laser jet printer, you can always take your graphic to um, an office supply store and they usually have a laser jet printer that they could print it out for you. I picked this t-shirt up at our Dollarama for $3 and I was actually surprised it's really a good quality t-shirt. Now I'm going to load my paper into my printer and you want the shiny side down. That's the way that it's going to go through the printer to print on. Okay, and now we're ready to start our transfer. You want to use a piece of cardboard to put in between your t-shirt so when you're ironing on the graphic, it doesn't go through to the other side. So I've just cut a piece of scrap cardboard that I had and I'm just going to put it in between the two layers of the t-shirt. And make sure it's laying nice and flat so you have a good surface for your transfer. Okay, and now I'm going to cut my graphic out. I'm just going to cut the size that I want all around the graphic and then I'm cutting off with those little edges that I put the uh, tape on so the paper will come right off the graphic. You want to make sure that you don't touch the graphic because the ink may smear if you touch it. So just be really careful um, that you don't touch it. Okay, now we want to get ready to put the transfer onto the t-shirt. So you want to make sure you have it centered exactly where you want it and don't move it around too much because we don't want that ink to smear onto the t-shirt before we iron it on. And then I'm going to put a piece of parchment paper over top of it, make sure it doesn't move, that it's nice and flat and we're ready to iron. Now I have my iron set at six with no steam. You don't want any steam. And you're just gonna start to iron away. And it takes a little bit, so just be patient and just move it around. Make sure your graphic underneath is not slipping, it's staying in place. And just iron it out and let all that toner from the laser jet printer adhere to the t-shirt. Now this takes a little bit and just make sure you're going evenly across the whole graphic. Make sure you're getting it in the middle and all the edges. You want to make sure you get all that toner transferred. And I'm just going to take a peek and just peel up a little bit and see how it's transferring. And I'm still going to iron it a little bit more. Now this transfer method also works really well on a cotton material. It transferred probably better on a cotton material than it does the t-shirt material. So just kind of play around with it and see what works best for you. Before you do a t-shirt, test it on a little piece of material just so you can get the feel of it. Okay, and now we're ready to take that label paper off. So we're just gonna really gently just peel it slowly off and you'll see your graphic revealed on your t-shirt. Now, me being a thrifter, I would have liked to have gone to the thrift store and got t-shirts, but we have everything closed down here right now um, because of COVID. So I had to um, resort to the dollar store, but I really like this t-shirt. And this graphic suits me to a T. I am a vintage junkie. 
And there you have a simple easy way to create your own graphics for t-shirts using mailing labels. And I've already washed this t-shirt once and it actually held up really well. So I'm excited. I'm going to be making all kinds of t-shirts. And this graphic is available over in my Etsy store. So if you're interested in making one of these t-shirts for yourself, go grab the graphic and make sure you use the code SAVE50 to get 50% off. I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial and have a great day. Thanks for watching.